Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. Most people in the WoW community know me as Nev. And in this video series, I want to showcase that I believe that Discipline Priest is very viable in higher keys than, let's say, um, just your 15s, 16s, or whatever. So, uh, in this video series, what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about some basics of healing uh, keys as discipline, and then I'll make uh, more videos going into higher keys and how I just handle um, each each dungeon um, and I'll, how I handle each boss. So a little bit about my background: um, I've been playing, I've been playing the game since WAD. Uh, but I would say that I've been playing Discipline since Legion. Um, it was uh, the reason I started playing it was because I used to play Rogue, and then I liked the concept of healing as I do damage. Um, that was very appealing to me. Uh, in Legion, it was it was pretty easy, um, and I would say that Discipline was it was pretty OP. Um, they, I, I don't think they had everything figured out, but in today's, uh, today's game, uh, discipline, it's kind of fallen off a little bit, um, especially in dungeons. Um, it is, it's pretty difficult to heal, um, higher keys as disc than it is, uh, let's say a holy priest or resto druid or resto shaman you know and, and those type of healers um but it is very doable um most of the keys that i do run um i, I run them as disc and uh right now my mythic rating is 2638 uh, which isn't bad and then if we hop over here to Raider IO, I will show you. Um, so this is me. This is my IO 2638. Um, and then we go down here to discipline, and these are the keys that I've, I've healed as disc. Uh, so we got Necrotic Wake, uh, 18 on Fortified, and 18 on Tyrannical. I actually did that one today. I, he chested a uh, 18, so that was pretty good. Um, I've got the 17s done. I am missing a couple of keys. Um, I play holy too. I'm not gonna lie, but um, I've been really, really wanting to stick to discipline. Um, also, the con, you know, people are saying that this can't heal high keys. Well, if you, there's a good website called uh, subcreation.net. And you can look at the highest key that someone's healed, and they've healed a 25 key. And 27% of the people, um, I guess out of this number of people, um, that this is the talents that they run. Um, and I typically run Twist of Fate too. We'll get into talents and covenants in a second. Um, but I would say that... Um, it's very viable. Now, I don't think it would be able to push into the 30s. Um, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But, um, you know, uh, the mid-20s, I would say that that's about its, uh, its breaking point. Um, for Covenants, um, as you can also see, most people run um, Disc as Kyrian. Uh, Kyrian is... Um, a lot of people like it. I, I personally don't like it. Um, I like Venethyr. I like to run mind games. But as you can see, the top Venethyr has only ran a max key of 23. Um, so let's go ahead and look at my character here. And then I will show you um, how I kind of have it set up. Um, so like I said, I do play Venethyr. And when you play Venethyr, you want a tad bit more haste than you would with Kyrian. Um, on Wildhead, they say that 27% haste is pretty good. 
But what I've what I felt when I played um as Venethir, I want a little bit more than that twenty seven percent. Uh, I'm actually aiming for about thirty three to thirty five percent as Venethir, and maybe about twenty eight twenty nine as a uh, Kyrian. That's that's kind of a sweet spot. Um, so let's get over to some gameplay and I'll show you some of the things that i done really well and then some of the things that I didn't do so well and uh, because I did do them well, uh, people died. <laughs> so let me get over here, switch this. All right, so here's a run that I did um, as you can see I was showing off my IO score um, I was really trying to get into a high key um, I was showing off my conduits uh, so let me pause this so for conduits you do want to run um, the radiance conduit and the Rabid Shadows Conduit. Uh, Rabid Shadows does work for Discipline too. And as you can see in this video, um, I was Kyrian, I played Milkanos, um, and all my conduits of 265 to another key. I believe this is only a 15 key. Uh, this is us doing buffs and all that stuff. All right, so here I go. So the first thing I did, I'm gonna re rewind it. First thing I did is I dispelled those little guys. Those little guys hit like a truck. Um, and my haste was only at like 27, 28%. So I couldn't catch up super fast, but I arcane torn to those. I pa. And I'm going into Radiance. Now, I should have been a lot faster going into that boon right there. Um, that was, again, that was my fault. But you can see my burst. It was about 11k. Not, not, too, uh, not too bad, but not too great. And pretty much we just power through this. Um, I want to say this guy gets healed up. Maybe, but we kill it. And yeah, we're still fighting it. Pretty much same thing right here. This is a pretty, pretty easy pull. Um, all this we get the I have to go all the way in the back to get my buff because someone took the closest one so I'm already behind a little bit go ahead and mount up thanks sorry fighting um, what I need to be doing is I need to be applying perch the wicked immediately that was pretty good on my part to do um, Radiance right there. But no one died, thankfully, and we got through it. Now, if that was fortified, I would have done been behind. Uh, for this boss, I don't, I think people were missing kicks and all that. Not a huge deal. It was only a 15. Um, but it was pretty tough. I'm doing some damage. I'm doing a lot of damage. Um, as you can see, I'm hitting about almost 5k. Um, I'm shadow mending. And I have a habit, too, of using Radiance when I don't need to. Um... I almost die here. And 
then we finally take this thing down. I get feared a bunch of times in this part right here. Now, I get pie. And right there, when I healed, I didn't need a heal because the boss isn't doing anything. I should have been DPSing more. Um, now, right here, I am. I'm trying to squeeze out as much DPS as I possibly can. I probably could have got in there with Boon and did even more DPS. I did pop my trinket. That was good. Uh, that Radiance, I didn't need a Radiance. Um, Again, that's me freaking out. Apply some shields when moving. That's that's a pretty good thing to do. Um, it's an instant cast, so. Now, Bronn's going to go in there and do a little bit of DPS. Not a lot of DPS, but. I should have been applying my, my dots again. I was having a hard time getting getting over to the boss. Um, so there I go. I think here's where I die. I just, I couldn't. I should have booned. Well, I did boon right there, but as you can see, I'm not. Only thing I'm doing is booning and blasting. I'm not even hitting everyone. Um. And I get fear right there, and of course I can't get out. Jesus I die. Christ! Um, that was pretty bad on my part. Um, I honestly I don't like the way the tank done that boss at all. Um, but we did get through it. We killed it. So I just kind of I I I messed up by going over there and <clears throat> having you know squeezing myself in like that so all right um so i had to run back because they didn't get the pod um or i released i shouldn't have released uh people uh one thing that's going to save you a lot of time in keys that I have seen is do not release if you have someone that can res. Um, now, if tank's dead and the healer's dead and no one else can res, then yeah, you're gonna have to release. But um, if someone is alive and that can that can res, it's it's gonna save you a bunch of bunch of time. Um, there I am getting hit with sanguine. Um, get through this pretty easy. I messed up right there. I should have been to the left of that the entire time. <clears throat> but here we go. And I'm going to boon right away. I'm doing it for DPS and HPS. Um, boon does a lot of DPS. And we just demolished that whole entire pack right there. As you can see, the hunter, uh, you know, he hit about 35k on his burst, which is pretty good. Uh, it's pretty solid. Um, now, I know it's the healer's job to do the maze um i personally don't do it because i suck at it and if i pick the wrong thing then we're gonna waste a lot more time than if someone else just did it that's better um perhaps i need to look into getting the uh weak horror or something to kind of help me out um I I'm, I'm just super bad at it i don't know why um But there goes the Shadow Priest. He was popping. Um, 
So as you can see, everyone's just trying to figure out where to go. Kill this thing, this thing's super easy to kill. Um, same thing with this group. Get to the boss here. Okay, rewind it to the boss. <clears throat> so this is pretty much the first um first pull in the boss we killed whoa i don't know why i guess because of the movement speed um i i don't personally like killing whoa um i mean the, the movement speed's nice but we don't you know you don't really need it but <clears throat> Tank interrupts. I mean, well, that was the guessing game. Um, so here I am. Um, during this phase is when you're going to take the most damage. So I'm um, popping Boone right there. Um, I guess I was on time for Boone, but I'm getting out of the way. Um, Patty Keg got interrupted by the tank. That's that's good. Doing the dodgeball thing. I want to say someone dies. Maybe the hunter dies. <clears throat> um. Again, just dodge doing dodgeball stuff. I think I gave the paladin. Um. Ha. Um. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I, I think I told him at the beginning of the dungeon that I would share it, so um that's kind of a man of my word, I guess. Um but in hindsight I shouldn't have done it. So of course people are running from the uh well pair. Boss takes a long time to die. But we get it done. Patty Cake gets interrupted. It's fixated on me. We did get the stun on it. Nice hodge. Um, right here, I boon, I believe, and I'm just booning for, um, the damage and <clears throat> for some healing. One thing I don't like about boon, too, is that you have to radiance again before boon ends. Um, so that's, that's like an extra cast. Um, but we got it done. Yeah, but here we go. Here's the boss. Um, it is tyrannical this week, so boss damage is pretty important. <laughs> Another thing I don't like about Boone is you have to be in uh in melee range, and sometimes that's a little scary. Um, being a clothy, being in melee, so. There we go, just penance, little mind blast, damage, single target damage. Actually, that was mine, Seer, so um, that, that's the only thing I had. And I'm radiancing again, and I don't understand why I keep doing that. Like, I don't need a radiance. No one's taking any damage. I'm also not hitting Rapture or my bubble um uh, <clears throat> my bubble enough so that's something i need to improve on but there we go um now i should be yeah i got a tone out 
<clears throat> so when you see my frames turn that bluish color, um, that's when Atonement is on the uh, party. We have a mine link. I did not get everybody. Um, so there I go. I have to radiance again, which could have been in a better position. I did kick those out of the way because as you can see they're they're going after me. Um they don't do a lot of damage but Hank did pick them up which is good. Um pop my trinket or mine length again. Um another thing that you can do with the mine link is try to be a, away from everybody as a healer. That way as soon as it comes out you just move out of the way and everyone's everyone's good um and i think that was the run so plus two um pretty easy didn't only die that one time because of the um uh, getting caught on the edge but let's uh take a look at some so more here's where i decided to switch it up and uh i decided to try venethyr and I was like, you know what, we're going to switch to Venethyr and we're going to test this out. Um, I think I increased my haste by switching out a uh, piece of gear and switching out a ring. Um, and then I had the Madux T, so that gave me enough haste. And I think this is only a 14. This only might be a 14, but... The whole point was trying to get a feel for uh, Venethyr disc. Um, I'm going to fast forward it here. I was telling the group, I was talking or something. Uh, asked the group, did we have a Venethyr for cages? Tank said that he was Night Fae, so I just said I'll do it. Not a big deal. All right, first pull. We did a countdown. See if the tank pops incarn. I think I enabled sound for this too. Um, I uh, I apologize for the lack of sound. If you guys, I I don't play with sound when I play the game, so it's I'm used to it being off, but. Um, I'll try to make sure I have sound on for these type of videos. So I pop the cage there. Um, immediately go into a uh, mind games. As you can see, I hit what seven k, seven k HPS. Pretty pretty decent. And I have to stay back here because um, I don't want to die <laughs> from from that stuff. So I think we got the movement speed. I didn't understand why, but. Whatever. Alright. Um, mind games. Fast forward it here. Um, Alright, we get out. By the first boss, I accidentally pull. Um, I thought I was clear and I was not, but that's okay. All 
and you can see like I just popped like 10k like burst uh, healing and Venith here is really 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 bursty um, I guess that's why I like it so much um, it's super bursty and you'll see on the boss here um, I think I hit 13, 14 K HPS. Um, disc also works extremely well in singling depths. The bosses, um, like the timers, just kind of line up a little bit better. Uh, there's a cover. There's a couple overlaps, but you know. Um, you're always going to have some of that stuff going on. I should be single target healing the uh, the warrior there. I think this warrior also dies a couple of times. I'm not sure. I remember he kept getting close to dying. Um, he's got good numbers, but... All right, so here we go. Not really worried about anything. I'm getting a little mana. Um, that's also another thing. When you play Venethyr, like, you tend to run out of mana faster. Um, but you can see that 17k burst I just hit, um, which is pretty, pretty good. The tank was not interrupting the boss <laughs> um i kind of had to be an asshole and i had to yell at him to uh to interrupt you'll see it again soon look the tank's not interrupting or he just did it that time but uh he fails so many times to interrupt right here i should have my atonement out um it is out uh, i should be mind games like you want your atonement out as those orbs are spawning, that way you can quickly get the orbs and heal up the damage. But look, the tank, well, they, they got a couple interrupts. I think got time. But I want to say they miss. They miss quite a few times. So orbs right there, I have a weak orb, tell me orbs. As soon as I start seeing that orbs three or whatever, like atonement needs to be out immediately. Um saving mind games here. I step in front to help soak. Mind games. And everyone's just healthy again. Um, got the tank smash. Alright, so orbs again. Like, uh, I was super, super late. Um, and then I'm going to run into that orb as I'm doing a penance. Um, tank got a little, little too low for my comfort there. See, I should be immediately right now. I should pin it. I mean, I should, uh, have my atonements out. I give him a pain suck. So right here, we didn't interrupt again, or we was late or something, so... There's all that damage, like, going out. Um, my healing was 10.7k. Um, for the end of that fight. Um, everything else is 
decent, I think. I'll get to the next. I'll get to the next uh, hard area. Uh, this is pretty. This is a pretty difficult area too. Um, I need to. Uh, I need to use my my bubble more, and I need to use Rapture more. There's a couple of cooldowns I'm just not utilizing. Um, I'm definitely going to work on that when I run some more keys. But I do the lantern. Um. Get the dispel. I should mind games. I am. And trying to do some DPS, but have to watch out. Um I'm DPSing, I'm not even worrying about that debuff. We have a little bit of little bit of damage going out, but not not a whole lot. Probably didn't need to uh do a radiance there. Got pretty good mana. Alright, so... I think this is... Yeah, we killed Vi here. Um, that relic can pretty much carry you in healing. Um, so... I should be doing damage while that thing is active. Um... Because it does pretty good, pretty good amount of healing. This hallway can be super scary, um, especially if you get the curse on you. Oh my God! See, he got the. I think he got the curse on him or something. Yeah, he might have the curse. Um, I do lantern, I think. Yeah, I do lantern right here. And I do a lot of just mind seer damage. Um, That was a bad penance by me because a lot of people were taking damage. Um, I was trying to be mindful, I think, of my radiance charges and uh, just try not to overdo it. Um, I hit radiance a lot. And uh, there's other buttons I could be using. Go ahead and skip this. Uh, there I am. So, this is this part scary, like super scary. It's a, uh, it's scary for a class or a spec that doesn't have good single target heals. Um, I cannot dispel that curse. So there, I think I get the curse and I get rooted, and I am I'm in panic mode. I don't have uh, pain sup. I don't have anything. Like I'm completely in panic mode. Um. On fortified, that would have killed me probably. And of course, we don't have a dispel um, curse person in the group. Got 
There I go. I use a feather to catch up. I have the feather on self macro. That's why you don't see it on the ground. Um, gonna kill this guy, then we're gonna get to this boss. So this boss, um, this boss hits like a truck, and uh, in tyrannical weeks, um, you need pretty good DPS to kill it. Um, you also need to be extremely smart with your cooldowns. Um, I got my proc on my trinket. And I got my ruby going. Wasn't really worried about this boss on a 14, but um, I tried this boss on like a 17 that I'm going to show you in a minute. And uh, it just destroys us. Um, so there I am playing, playing catch up a little bit. Um, you don't want to be playing catch up on this boss. You want to be, you want to be ahead. Uh, I think I use Desperate Prayer. That's a pretty good ability to use on the move. Um, the ad needs to die like extremely fast. Um, I Rapture here. I'm, I, I got nervous because um, I don't have much tank dies, and that's a. Uh, that's a white. Um, I did manage to hit 10k again, but uh, I was kind of being a smart ass there, and I was telling the group, "Hey, let's let's lust this," because um, like I said, that boss is extremely difficult. So we run back. Um, got some health stones. Um, and I believe we do lost it this time. And I immediately got the debuff. And I hit Desperate Prayer. Which is pretty good ability to use. Still ain't lust. I think we lust in a second. Um, Warriors got the debuff. We still ain't lust. I mean, I'm so far behind in heals. Um, we still ain't lust. <laughs> um, there, we popped lust that time. <clears throat> Fight was half over when we when we popped it. Just pumping some DPS into the boss here. Um
in some penance. And I quickly put purge on the boss again. I think I was starting to kind of freak out a little bit. Um, but I was fine here. Um, I think it was just in that one spot that I was, I was a little nervous. Um, I knew right here, though, that I had mind games. Um, and I just went ahead and used it. Um, boss is dead. Um, but you can see 12k overall in heals. Um, that was a tough one. Uh, we got percent. So coming down to this boss right here. Um, so in this boss, we the uh, the spikes that the the tank buster mechanic uh, he's going to get low. He's going to have to use a defensive or something, um, and then. Guess we want to make sure we have atonement out right before the orbs or before that cast goes off. So there I am. Now what I should do is I should radiance, which I do, and then as soon as the thing goes off, um, right like that. Um, this part's also kind of hard because you get knuckleheads that like to stand in the swirlies and you got to dispel them. Um, so right now I have, I put a Tome on the tank to help him out. Um, I got my games up again, so we're good. Um, and I am saving it. So right here, I'm going to collect the three that I need to collect. Um, on Tyrannical, every person needs to collect three unless you have an immunity. Uh, as you can see, the hunter did not. He just stood there. The iron spikes is hitting the tank like a truck. And we're going back into the um, the orb phase. I think right here I only get two orbs. Um and um, I did a rapture there. Um, that's why I didn't hit so hard. I didn't have anything else. But as you can see, people are still getting. People are still getting hit. With uh, dumb stuff. I wanted to make sure everyone was healthy. That's why I kind of did that. Um, I think I bubble. I did use bubble. That's good. Um, putting on shields. Uh, iron spikes again for the tank. And I think right here, I should have I popped trinket, but I waited a minute and the hunter died again because he didn't uh, he didn't pop a defensive or anything. Uh, let's go down this hallway. This hallway can get extremely scary too. Um, well, this hallway is scary, and the main, the big hallway is scary. Okay, so here we go. Going down the gauntlet. This is the gauntlet hallway. I pan it, trying to spread purge as much as I can. I mean, you can see that bleed is nasty. Um,
I did get everyone quickly healed up. But there we go. Got a bleed on. That might have been the smash that the uh, the warrior took there to the face. I stand on the outside edge. Um, that way the smash didn't kill me. Um, this is a nasty pull. And I think I'm just mind searing. Um, until we get all the way down. Um, Hank used the thing. The hunter. I don't know. I don't know if he didn't step in or what happened to him, but he almost bit the dust again. I think the hunter actually died a couple of times during this. So. Let's go ahead and fast forward here so this video is not super, super long. Um, Alright. We'll go right here. Alright, so going into the boss, everyone's healthy. We're good. Um, I get the Wicked Rush immediately apparently there's a spot that you can go to where uh, it's super easy to dodge the uh, rush and you can't dodge it uh, I got hit right there that was bad I pa the lock there um, Got the barrier down. I got Wicked Rush again. I'm trying to get away from everybody, too. Um, you want to spread out. Just DPSing, DPSing. I got it again. Not too concerned with this boss. Um, it's just a pain in the butt. See, I should have had... I got it again. But I should have had um, a Radiance out. Right as that was uh, ending right there. I think I was getting nervous right here. I, I did pop mine games to kind of help out. Get my trinket off in a minute. And yes, I I have a keybind uh, for my trinket. I don't have it uh, macro to anything. So every time it goes off, that's me actually hitting the key. Um, I need a macro to something though. Make it a little bit easier. And that was really bad. Um, but you can see quickly everyone's health was dipped. And I just quickly like pushed up their health bars um, with mind games. Um, it's insane how bursty it is. And why... I personally, I, I prefer that play style right there. Um, it's a little bit more mana intensive, but um, pretty good. Uh, so that is, um, that's that 14 run. I think, I think this was a 17, and this is not me playing so well. Uh, I, I, I could have played so much better um, in this video. 
it's really disappointing like when you watch yourself play like play like that but um there's different things that I could have done um I would also say that I think there was a communication barrier um and the tank they 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 didn't want to lust I think it's, it might have been at 18 they didn't want to lust on the uh no it was 17 all right yeah they uh, they refused to lust on the second boss um and that boss is like intense it's on, it's intense on a um on a 14 key like how come they didn't lust i i, I don't know I mean, they did really good damage. That's the thing too. Like I would, we would have timed this if I think if we would have lusted, and the tank wouldn't have screwed up. And you'll see that screw up. So you guys have seen this hallway a million times by now. Tank did a real good job though. Like he backed up out of sanguine. He didn't pull too crazy. Uh, I actually I thought this run was gonna go extremely good, but. We'll see where everyone kind of screws up and uh, where it goes to crap. But you can see the tank just backing up, backing up. Like, he did an extremely good job. Um, pulled this room for some reason. But whatever, it's all right. Um, I need to stop healing while we have that buff because that buff will carry you for a while. Um, right here. All right, we're going into the boss here. I think I had to get drink. I put my uh I put pie on the um uh, on the warlock there. Now this might have been the where they was failing to interrupt. Let's see what let's see what happens here. I don't know, but we was getting hit by something crazy. Uh, you can see my, my HPS just like shot up through the roof. Um, This is a pretty hard fight, uh, but you can see, I mean, they're not kicking. God damn. Why so the reason I die here is because we're so low health. Watch this again. Now, look, that hungering drain, no one kicked that whatsoever. And now, um... God trying to help damn. soak Why'd and I'm so move? low that I can't at this part I knew that um uh, <clears throat> I knew that this this run was gonna be uh pretty crap. We do have a, a, a turtle defensive. We got AMZ down. That's that's a good move. I wish they'd kick. There it is. Hungering drain again and no one's kicking. Like And then we got the rush right after that. Like it's insane. Like what they expected. So there's the smash. I need to have atonement out. I do. Um, but now I have to play catch up again because they're not going to kick. 
the uh, the drain. So you see that drain. I mean, oh, they kicked it that time. Like I am constantly on low health on this fight. I, I can't. It's like I can't catch up. Um. So in this fight in particular, um, I think I played okay. Um, there was a couple of things I probably could have done better. However, like I said, you know, I was it's pretty intense. Um, and they didn't seem like they was helping, uh, very much with the uh the interrupts. Now they started kicking. Yeah, so it started getting easier at the end when the boss was almost dead. But 12k HPS overall, not bad. We've seen this hallway a million times. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward here to where it's completely just uh it goes downhill. <clears throat> okay, that's the first time. Alright, here we go. Alright, <clears throat> so we clear the hall. This is the second boss. Worst boss in the game, in my opinion. The pre pre big key. Hunter doesn't um well hunter got out of the way. Good for the hunter. He tried. get hit with that I get hit with the castigation or castigate um, we're still okay we are okay and then still okay we got the damage I and mean, we're damage is super good I'm caught up right now too like I'm caught up on the damage we're fine I feel okay <clears throat> tank goes into the corner here. Ah, uh, tank pulls mobs. Oh, God. And here. this Fuck. is gonna be a white. I can't catch up from this. No lust. No nothing. Fucking dumbass. <clears throat> Yeah, you got My fault, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It was right. definitely his fault. Alright, so at the time I was like fucking eighteen. I was like, can we uh can we lust this boss please? Because this is the worst boss in the game. Go back. Now here's my mistake. Alright. So the lock puts down See right here. Hold on. The lock puts down his lock gate. And I think I click it. And I double back. So I click it. For some reason, oh. I clicked it like an idiot. I knew it. And the tank pulled. Well, the tank didn't pull, actually. The, um, the DK pulled. So here I am. Trying to play catch up now. DK does. I'm behind already. 
Well, DK is dead. We're good. Come on, Hunter. You can lust. Just pop lust, buddy. You can you can lust it. It's okay. Still no lust. I'm behind a little bit now. Um, I'm a little worried. I'm like, I, I was about to put in chat, hey, lust. And... All right, so we got the res on the um, DK there. I am extremely behind. Like, we're we're dying. We still ain't lust. Still ain't done nothing. I get hit with the uh, the haste thing, which you don't want to do if you're if you play a uh, disc. Like, that's the worst feeling. Not having enough haste. Hank is going down. I mean. Can we fucking And I lust? just. I lose it. <laughs> and I start kind of being a little toxic. Um, and I'll, I'll leave. Um, that's about how fed up I was with, with this run. Um. I don't understand how come we just couldn't lust. But that about sums up the um sums up the runs, sums up the keys. Um if you guys like this type of content, let me know in the comments down below. Um or if I can improve the uh the quality of the video, let me know and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Um and look for part two of this because the whole thing that I'm going to be doing with this series is I'm going to be starting at 15 keys and then I'm going to be working my way up and hopefully I record those and I kind of show you how um, even as a disciplined player, like you can run really high keys, um, but you, you got to be on top of the damage patterns. You have to watch out for your... Uh, the bars um, for the timers, I mean, with the boss abilities and stuff like that. Um, and you kind of need some help, too. You don't want people playing like complete idiots because um, if you get behind, you know, they're going to die and then toxic stuff happens. So, But until next time, I want you guys to take care, be safe, and peace. Maybe next time he could lust.